In this video, I'll walk you through how to disable the Sentinel-1 agent. Since this security software often requires administrative access or specific credentials, listen carefully as I explain the steps. So first, I understand the access requirements. So disabling the Sentinel-1 agent usually requires administrator permissions on your system. Passphrase or credentials provided by your IT administrator, especially if the agent is managed by an organization. Now, assuming we have a Sentinel-1 in here, installed in my PC. So, locate the Sentinel-1 icon on the Windows and then check the system tray at the bottom right corner. Now, to attempt to disable the agent in the Sentinel-1 management interface, look for any option to disable protection or deactivate the agent. You will likely be prompted for a passphrase or admin credentials. You can also use the command line. If you have a administrative access and permissions, you can disable Sentinel-1 using commands. Like, you may copy this command prompt. And after that, enter the passphrase when prompted. Now, if you are unable to disable the agent, the settings may be locked by the organization's policy. You may contact your IT administrator or the team that manages Sentinel-1 in your organization. And Sentinel-1 agents often have a maintenance mode that allows temporary disabling for troubleshooting. Entering maintenance mode will typically require a maintenance token from the Sentinel-1 management console. So, disabling the Sentinel-1 agent can leave your system vulnerable to threats. Only proceed if you are authorized to do so and understand the risk. And that's it. That's how to disable the Sentinel-1 agent. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel.